We all have a crush on female video game characters. This is because they are such sweethearts. And we wish they were real, but unfortunately they're not. It sucks. But oh well. Uh, welcome to reality. It is harsh as hell. But this series is dedicated to those we call waifus. Ladies and gentlemen, the waifus of gaming. We are starting off today's episode by bringing up the name Tony Taka. If it rings more of a bell, you know he is a big character designer in the anime and JRPG game scenes. Let's take a look into the legacy of Tony Taka. Starting with the blonde-haired elf archer, Kirika Toa Alma of Shining Residence. Okay, so Kirika is a Dragoneer Archer from Shining Residence, one of the entries that got remastered in the Shining series. That's pretty cool. In the lore, she serves her home in the Kingdom of Astoria and ends up fighting alongside Yuma and the Shining Dragon. Yes, the Shining Dragon that is trapped within Yuma. However, she participated in the mission where she and Sonia rescues Yuma and the Shining Dragon from being captive, that's right, by a tyrannical empire that has engulfed a huge portion of her home. People have gone mad. Grabbing a boy and a dragon? People have gone mad. She is calm and elegant, but she is also loyal to the kingdom and Yuma and the Shining Dragon. However, she can have her shy moments. Keep in mind, she can have her shy moments. She specializes a lot into archery, but she can also heal and take people off KO status. Due to her position, she as well holds an ability that involves the power of song where she can enchant her and her teammates with enhancements. As an example, when she performs the song that you end up learning in the very beginning of the game, everyone on her team ends up with higher chances for critical hits and critical strikes. That's pretty cool. Now, she does have extra abilities, and her extra abilities come alongside the fact that she can send multiple or higher arrows to her opponents in a quick manner. Now let's talk about her weapon. Her weapon is not just a bow and arrow, but a bow and arrow that takes on the form of a harp at the same time. It is uh, a very interesting thing. Yeah. She traditionally wears a blue and white kimono-like dress, but she can also transition to another dress that is similar, except it is dark blue and orange, with the skirt shorter. Interesting. Also, let's not forget her swimsuits. That's right, a two-piece. You can have the skirt on or skirt off. That's DLC. And it's already included in the remaster. So Kirika is a royal, elegant, easygoing maiden who is able to fight and save it. She is a pleasure to get to know. And of course, being a bay created by the hands of Tony Taka, her beauty and ability will rival Mina Majikina of Samurai Showdown and Ayane Ikuze of Vanguard Princess. Waifus of Tony Taka's craft are huge competitors. <laughs> That's right, guys. That is all, and I will see you in the next video. And yes, we're doing experimental things, and yes, I look like shit. Anyway, like, like I said, see you in the next video. Yo, don't miss out on future shenanigans while at the same time no up ahead anything video related. I will be appearing on these other sites. Be sure to follow. Also, support the channel over at Patreon for just $1 a month. Come on down to the description box and you will find the links.